mom's birthday. It was night time, around nine o'clock. Gattu and Chinki were watching cartoon sitting in front of the TV, and dad was checking his office files sitting there along with them. Mom was working in the kitchen. After cleaning the utensils and the kitchen and finishing all the household chores, mom came to the hall. What is this? You guys are still awake? Gattu, Chinki, turn off the TV and go to your room. It's almost midnight. Mom, please. Tomorrow is a Sunday. Let us watch the cartoon. But son, mom, please don't disturb. Do we disturb you in between your serials? Mom got angry after hearing Chinki's words, and she turned her eyes towards dad. Hey, how long you are gonna take with these files? Don't you have to sleep every day? You go to bed right after having dinner. What happened today? Please don't disturb, man. So many files are pending. Every second is precious to me. Saying this, Papa again got busy with his files, and Mom kept watching everyone in turn. Kids want to watch cartoon. He is busy with his office work, and no one wants to spend time with me. Never mind. I will go to bedroom and sleep. Saying this, Mom left for the bedroom. As soon as Mom left, Dad slammed the file. After seeing the file, I would have slept before Mom. Chinky yawned and said. No sleeping, Gattu. When Chinky looked at Gattu, Gattu was already asleep. Get up, Gattu. Get up, son. Oh, he's not even moving. Get up, Gattu. Gattu. It's twelve o'clock, Gattu. Hearing this, Gattu hurriedly got up and sat down. Twelve, twelve o'clock. Let's go. Where, where's the cake? Seeing Gattu's condition, Dad smiled and said. <laughs> Gattu, it is not yet twelve o'clock, and the cake has not arrived yet. You go and see whether mom is sleeping or not. When Gattu left, dad shouted from behind. And listen, come back just seeing. Don't fall asleep over there. Gattu went and came back after a while and said, "Mom is sleeping." Yes. Where is this delivery boy? Dad, do one thing. Open the door. And why so? If the delivery boy will come and ring the doorbell, mom could wake up from that, and that will spoil our surprise. Chinky is absolutely right. Let me open the door. Saying this, dad went to the door, and as soon as he opened the door, the delivery boy was standing in front with the box of the cake. What a perfect timing, sir! I was just about to ring the bell. Here is your cake. Dad took the cake and paid. Then Chinky came with some money in hand and gave it to the delivery boy. Sorry, we are not allowed to take service tips. This tip is not for your service. It's because you did not ring the doorbell. That's why. Please take it. The boy took the tip and left. Keep the cake in the fridge and do all the preparations. Chinky kept the cake in the fridge, and she, along with Gattu, started preparing the candles and other birthday items. At exactly 11:59 o'clock, Gattu, Chinki, and Dad were standing in front of Mom's bed with a big cake. Mom had no idea what was going to happen. Dad saw the time. As soon as the clock ticked 12 o'clock, everyone shouted, "Happy birthday!" Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Mom! Happy birthday to you. Mom woke up from her sleep and sat on the bed. She could not believe all this was happening. She thought she was dreaming. Mom, what are you looking at? Today it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Did you like the surprise? Gattu turned on the music system and the background music also started playing and she started cutting the cake. Thank you so much. I didn't even know that today is my birthday. I forgot about it. How would you have remembered? You work all day long. You simply remain busy taking care of us. Don't worry, mom. We remembered. That's why I wondered why suddenly everyone lost their sleep. These two were watching cartoons, and someone was busy with his files. Mom, I'll tell the 
truth. We were feeling very sleepy. Gattu was sleeping while sitting only. But we had to surprise you. You did give me a surprise. So, now all surprises are over? Not so soon. We'll be back. Gattu Chinky were running and brought a lot of gifts. One by one, everyone gave gifts to mom and clicked pictures on their mobile. Mom, there are still a lot of surprises left. Chinky, isn't it? No, dad will tell her. Okay, alright. The kids have arranged a party for you tomorrow. Get to Chinky have made all the arrangements. You just have to enjoy tomorrow. The kids have ordered food and drinks from outside. And they have sent invitation to everyone in the society. And there is one more thing. What thing? Do you know? Who is coming to meet you at the party tomorrow? All your childhood friends who got distanced from you over time. Get to Chinky found everyone on social media and sent them invitations. Hearing this, mom got emotional and hugged Gattu and Chinky. Mom, are you happy now? Just tell us, what else can we do for you? I am very happy son. I am proud of you both. All I want is that four of us will keep talking throughout the night. All day long you all are busy with your own work. When you come home, you get stuck on TV and mobile. And I feel really lonely. Sorry, Mom. Yes, after today we will give you time too. Then what? That's how the celebration started and they all kept talking throughout the night. Women's Day is a day which falls on 8th of March, which is observed only for women. Women's Day can be observed in different ways. But when the matter is related to Gattu and Chinki's society, then it will be surely a different one. Gattu was talking to his father in the morning. During their conversation, they started talking about Women's Day. Then dad said, Bita, women are so important for the society that we can't think society without them. I am not only talking about our society, I am talking about human being. Society where man and women exist. They both are dependent on each other. Earlier women look after the household works and men go for the jobs. But now, men and women both are responsible for the family. And they both can do the job, but still they are staying together because they both are their strengths. If mummy goes somewhere, then our whole system gets disturbed. And when you go to the office too, then mummy have to look after to the house as well as outside, like our school fees. Tuition fees, she took us to the doctor uncle. Likewise, many other things she used to do when you are not there. That means mom is your power and you are hers. Yes, when their strengths comes together, then what will happen beta? Mm, what happens? Can I? They create a home and likewise we can create a whole society. Which is our world where both women and men stay together. But if this is so, then Dad, why is Women's Day celebrated? Beta, we used to celebrate Women's Day so that we can understand the importance of women in our life. Like Men's Day, same Women's Day. Every day we are busy with our works and full of stress. And due to this, we couldn't understand each other properly. But when we are celebrating Women's Day, we are spending the time with them. And gradually we know about their work, their stress and about their desires. We try to fulfill them. And we discuss all of these, for which they could understand their importance and they feel special. Wow! That's why we are celebrating Women's Day. Let's go! This year we will celebrate the Women's Day with our mom. Not only us, our society will celebrate Women's Day. I already told the chairperson. Yay! Then we will all have fun. Well, Gattu and Chinki's society started preparation for the Women's Day event. Beautiful decorations and good seating arrangements. All that could be there for fun games. Breakfast, lunch, cold drink and fruit flavor ice cream and many more things to be available at the party. Kids were running everywhere and all men were standing in one place. 
and Gattu's mom was having funny conversation with other women out there. Tinky, see, mummy is happy today. My mummy is also happy since yesterday she was very much excited about the program. Yes, that's my mom. I think she's looking fabulous. The glow on her face is not because of her makeup. It's because of her self-confidence. Yes, Goody. Our society's women are confident and powerful. Then Gattu's mom came in front of the mic and started anchoring. You must be wondering today is Women's Day. Then why I am anchoring the show? I should be enjoying the function. But Chairman Sir knows how much I like hosting. I used to host every single program when I was in college. That's why today, after a gap of ten years, I'm feeling damn lucky to host this event. And then Mom continued to anchor the show. Today we have a lady friend here who is Mrs. Ranjana. She has a very interesting and inspirational story to share. Her husband is a doctor. Both her children are studying. and she is a housewife but today she is not only a housewife she has started her own business after managing her household work she is also selling her product in the international market as well let's hear her story from mrs ranjana herself then mrs ranjana came to the stage and shared her journey with everyone every single person clapped and appreciated her The story of Mrs. Ranjana is very much motivating not only for women it's motivating for all of us After that every woman shared her point of view in front of everyone they continued chatting on the stage all the men listened to their gossips they understood and tried to understand them too and then started the fun and frolic many fun games All the arrangements were made by Gattu and his team perfectly. So ladies, you have to blow all the balloons in front of you. The person who will blow maximum number of balloon, she will be the winner. And then Gattu blew the whistle and the competition started. Women started blowing breath into the balloon from their mouth. And it was fun. Some balloons were blowing up successfully. but some failed to blow some even not at all blowing because they were defective at one point one balloon slipped from the hands of megha auntie and burst under sudhir uncle's chair everyone around him forgot about the competition and started laughing at him one by one all fun games ended and then yes you got it right let's go ladies you must be tired of playing So ice cream, cold drinks, pav bhaji, bhel puri, pani puri are waiting for you. Let's go! After that, all kids and ladies gathered in front of the food stalls. At every counter was a man. They had smile on their faces and ready to serve. As soon as the plates got ready, they started the services. The plates were decorated with delicious food, and this is how Women's Day party ended on a good note. अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आ रहे हैं तो इन्हें लाइक करें कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब करें